What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another collection video. Now I know I've been throwing a lot of these out there in the month of January, but when I do my massive update in January, this is how I prefer to do it. I don't want to do one big, huge, massive physical media update video because if I did that, it would be like five hours long and I don't want to do that. You don't want to sit for that. So I prefer to break up my collection into specific categories, I guess, and just film individual videos. So today is my entire 4K collection. Now, this is not boutique label 4Ks. I did that video yesterday. This is not 4K steelbooks because all my steelbooks will be in one specific video. This is all about regular 4Ks, slip covers, no slip covers, and also my horror 4Ks. So we're actually going to start off over there in the horror corner. Let's go. Starting off the video in my horror corner, I put my horror 4Ks right at the bottom. Yes, I have my little scream ghost face corner right there. Don't mind that. All right, so starting off, we have three from hell. The Adams Family. American Psycho. Beetlejuice. Cabin in the Woods, Crawl, Evil Dead Rise, The Exorcist, Friday the 13th, Ghostbusters. Now, some people consider Ghostbusters eh, more of a comedy, but it's ghosts. I just put it in the horror section. And yes, those are custom slipcovers from Side Hustle Cinema, if you're interested. We've got Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters Afterlife, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, Halloween Ends, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, I Know What You Did Last Summer, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, It, it Chapter 2. Now, this is a Blu-ray slipcover, but it's actually a 4K underneath that did not come with a slip. So I just kept the Blu-ray slipcover and used it. So technically, it is a 4K with a Blu-ray slip. We got Knock at the Cabin. Last Night in Soho. The Lost Boys. Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. I consider it more of a Halloween movie, so it's in the horror section. We've got Nope. Old. A Quiet Place. Quiet Place Part 2. Rosemary's Baby. Saw X. My Babies, the Scream franchise. First Scream movie, Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 5, because we're waiting for Scream 4, 4K, and Scream 6. We've got Terrifier 2, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, of course, The Thing. This one's got a little bit of nudity on the front, so I'm not going to pull it out to show you. But uh, the 4K of the Toolbox Murders. We've got Uncle Sam with that nice lenticular 4K slip. The Witch. Now these all have no slip cover, so that's why they're at the end. Type A personality. Brightburn. Dracula. Christine. Maniac, The Shining, and last but not least, we have Van Helsing. So those are all my 4Ks, all my four, <laughs> strike that, reverse it, all of my horror 4Ks, there we go. So now I'm going to show you all of my other 4Ks, starting with slipcovers. As you guys can see, I have taken it to the floor yet again. It's just a lot easier and the video goes by a heck of a lot faster when I'm not in it. So we're focusing on the movies here. And I do want to start off with 
brand new 4Ks that just came in from when I was ordering online that I don't want to forget about. So let's start with those first. And we have The Way We Were, Love Actually, we have Varsity Blues, Elizabeth, I picked up the Mummy Trilogy um, from Best Buy. It was one of my last trips, and I picked this up for $31. I thought that was a good deal. And, oh my gosh, I just watched this the other night. The Muppets Take Manhattan. What a flashback. So nostalgic. I loved watching it. Okay, so those are brand new 4Ks into the collection. Now, these are all with slipcovers that I have seen. I know, we're getting that detailed, but you know me. I'm all about details, so... We're starting with Independence Day. Yet again, it is a Blu-ray slipcover, but it's actually the 4K because the 4K did not come with a slip and I already had the Blu-ray with the slip. So I kept the slipcover, but it's a 4K underneath. Long story, I know. All right, moving on, we have Almost Famous 4K. The live action Dumbo. Godzilla vs. Kong. I think I have like three or four different copies of Godzilla vs. Kong in this room. We have Raya and the Last Dragon. Eight Mile. A Star is Born. Oh, I can't watch it too often. It makes me cry. It really, really does. All right. Saturday Night Fever. We've got In the Line of Fire. The Wolf of Wall Street. This is Leo's best, best performance. I'm sorry. He should have won the Oscar for this. I've said it again and again. He's gotten snubbed twice. Granted, he won for The Revenant. However, he should have won for What's Eating Gilbert Grape. And he should have won for The Wolf of Wall Street. Because this performance is outstanding. It is so, so good. I just have to say it every time. All right, we got Pulp Fiction. I picked up No Time to Die, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, the first Frozen movie, The Northman. This movie is so good. I know a lot of people did not see it at the theater, but it's an amazing film. If you have not seen it, I highly recommend that you do check it out because it's really, really good. Yeah, I picked up Snake Eyes. Let's, <laughs> we'll just move on. Yeah, and I picked up... I picked up these G.I. Joe 4Ks when they were on sale at Walmart for like $9. They were super cheap. We all know. We all pick them up. So I don't feel as guilty, I guess, because I know other people in the collecting community did pick up these movies. So we have G.I. Joe Retaliation and G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra. Yeah, I got Morbius. I have two copies of Morbius because who can resist... Who could resist the lenticular slip? I'm sorry. That's amazing. And yeah, I picked up the steel book because it's Marvel. It's not MCU, but it's Marvel. So I picked up the steel book and I couldn't resist the lenticular. And then, of course, if you grew up in the 80s, you know and love the Goonies. Everyone needs a copy of the Goonies. Okay, so I have that. So I married an axe murderer. Great 4K transfer on that. We've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Vanilla Sky, Enter the Dragon, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, The Meg 2, The Trench. I got like three copies of that too. <laughs> Office Christmas Party. A lot of these you have seen because this is pretty much what was at the front of my 4K pile. So you've seen these movies tons of times already. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. We've got 65 with Adam Driver. Should have waited for a sale for that. Super Mario Brothers. Avatar. Barbie! <laughs> We've got Barbie. Did I imitate her correctly? I hope I did. Roman Holiday. Roman Holiday with my girl, Audrey Hepburn. Oh, I love this movie. I love her. She's amazing. The Flash. We've got Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Rebel Without a Cause, and West Side Story. All right, final pile. And this is round one, <laughs> this right here, of slipcovers that I've seen. And I got to go back and get round two. 
So we've got a Christmas story. Yeah, this is one of my regrets from last year. R.I.P.D. <laughs> you don't need that. Another one, Babylon. You don't really need that one either. We've got Elf, obviously. Shooter, great movie. Titanic. The Color Purple. The Fugitive. Christmas movie, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And Rudolph, The Red-Nosed Reindeer. Frosty the Snowman. Gran Turismo. Yeah, we got Die Hard. We got Die Hard. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. We got Trading Places. And finally, for part one with slipcovers, we've got Scrooge. Love Scrooge. All right, so let me go and pick up the second round of 4Ks with slipcovers. Continuing on with 4Ks with slipcovers that I have seen, we have Everything Everywhere All at Once. And we've got Elvis. I like the slipcover. I like the holographicness of it. Annihilation. Gotta have Nick Cage, the unbearable weight of massive talent. Nicholas Cage is Nick Cage. Yes, he is. No one else could ever be Nicholas Cage. Do the right thing. Yeah, we've got Doom. <laughs> that was a regret, too. Juice. Got the Juice 4K. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I love that, like, little glitterness. Is that even a word? Glitterness? <laughs> On the 4K band up at the top. I think that's so cool. Love that. And we've got Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Top Gun Maverick. And, of course, we got Top Gun. Uncharted. This is the Walmart exclusive 4K slip for Spider-Man No Way Home. It was the last one at my Walmart. And I think someone was hiding it and I found it. Ha ha ha. So too bad for that person. I grabbed it. And we've got Jungle Cruise from Disney. Pile number two. We have Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise. Gotta have Joker. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. The Last Duel, another highly underrated movie. Give it a chance if you haven't already. We've got Space Jam 4K, Singing in the Rain, Ambulance. Ah, I can't grab these. The Lost City. All right, here we go. I have all six Jurassic Parks on 4K and all with slipcovers. So we have the first Jurassic Park, The Lost World, JP3, then we got Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and Jurassic World Dominion, aka they tried to put too much in one movie, except for dinosaurs, ironically. Okay, moving on. We have Heat, Looper, Tar, Real Genius, is that? No, it's a regular one. Okay, I thought it was a uh, a boutique label for some reason for a second. And Casablanca. My pile is starting to like fall over. Don't fall over. All right, pile number three. We got the Fablements. A little bit of Brad Pitt and Bullet Train. Fatal Attraction. Christmas Vacation, of course. Gotta have Prey, The Batman, we've got Adaptation, oh my gosh, I cannot grab these, <laughs> The Maltese Falcon, Dragon Slayer, we've got Plane, this was actually a good, decent movie. I'm not saying it was super fantastic, but it was decent, so if you can pick it up on sale, do so, it's not bad, it's a decent action movie. And we got Braveheart. Dune! We got Dune! And I still don't know what this movie is about. And I've seen it. <laughs> I'm so confused. To Kill a Mockingbird. The Green Mile. 
Puss in Boots. My best friend's wedding. Oh my gosh. Am I too far away? Can I not grab these? All right. We got the Woman King. Beverly Hills Cop. And of course, Beverly Hills Cop 2. And part three is coming out on 4K, I believe, mid-February. Escape from L.A. And we've got Hellboy as well. All right, final pile. We got Creed. Gotta have Creed. Gotta have Creed do. And Creed 3. There we go. We got Flashdance. Cool Hand Luke. 2012. All my disaster movies. Deep Impact. Bohemian Rhapsody. Dungeons and Dragons. Honor Among Thieves. More Tom Cruise with The Firm. Why is my lighting changing? That's weird. Uh, National Lampoon's Vacation. John Wick, baby. John Wick Chapter 4. Gotta have a little bit of Keanu in our lives. The Core. We've got The Untouchables. Avatar, The Way of Water. War of the Worlds. The Truman Show, my man Jason Statham in Operation Fortune, The Italian Job, and last but not least, oh, look at that. It's Tom Cruise in Collateral. All right, so I've now shown you everything that I've seen in 4K with a slipcover. So now we are going to movies in 4K that I've seen without a slipcover. With this clip, I don't have that much to show you. So these are 4Ks with no slip covers that I have seen. And then I just have one more after this and we are done. So in this pile, we've got E.T. And I just realized I'd forgotten that I have this copy of E.T. And I also have the 4K Steelbook. So I can get rid of my Blu-ray. I no longer need that because I have two 4K copies of E.T. So I have one and a backup. I am good. The Wizard of Oz. I really hate that I don't have a slipcover for The Wizard of Oz. Groundhog Day. So I have two copies of Groundhog Day. I have a regular 4K and also the 4K Steelbook. The Greatest Showman. Here's my copy of Stand By Me. We've got King Richard. And also Rio Bravo. Great 4K transfer with that one. The Shallows 4K. East of Eden. Everything else. Here's my two Fast and Furious movies without, um, with no steelbook. It really kills me that I can't find steelbooks for Too Fast, Too Furious, and Furious 7. Because every other movie of the franchise, I have steelbooks. Except for these two. And I at least wanted them as 4Ks. So I found these on Groove for really cheap. So I picked them up. Of course, no slip covers with those. In fact, one of the cases is a little bit cracked, so that was kind of disappointing, but what are you going to do? Okay, double copy, or I should say, two movie collection, there we go, of Tomb Raider with Angelina Jolie, Tomb Raider, and Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life. And I have a 4K of Venom. Cold Pursuit. This was a decent movie. It surprised me. It's not like the best movie, but it was decent. All right, we got Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and also The Dark Knight Rises. I picked these up during like a Black Friday, I think like two years ago, and they were like nine bucks a piece or something. So I picked those up. We got Gremlins. You gotta have Gremlins. Deepwater Horizon. American Gangster. Great movie. Great, great movie. I think it's underrated. I don't think anyone talks about this movie. And they need to because it's great. You have Denzel and Russell Crowe. Great performances. Okay, so here's what I forgot yesterday in my boutique label. This should be in my boutique label because it's a shout select. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Take it out of the pile. So I put it in my boutique collection. We got Cliffhanger with Stallone. Field of Dreams. A Few Good Men, such a good movie. I've seen that movie so many times. It's so good. Hellboy 2. 
We got Red Heat with Arnold and Belushi. And finally, another fantastic film. This should have won Best Picture. I'm sorry. That year, this should have won Best Picture. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri with my man, Sam Rockwell. He won his Oscar for this movie. So did Francis McDormand. Okay. All right. So that is it. There's my knee right there. So that, that is it for 4Ks that I have seen with no slip covers. Now I have to grab just 4Ks that I have not seen in general. And then this video is going to be done. Okay, so for the final clip, I have 4Ks that I still have to see non slip cover and slip covers over here. So starting with pile number one, we've got Lightyear, Interstellar, Frozen 2. I have seen it, but it's been a while since I've seen it, actually, since it came out in theaters. And I haven't seen the 4K, so I just put it in the never seen it pile. The 48 Hours Double Pack. We've got Highlander. This one was sent to me. Power Rangers. I like the slipcover. A little bit of holographicness, if you will. I like that. Source Code. So I plan on watching all of my Mad Max movies when Furiosa is near or is closer to coming out in theaters. That's when I will binge all of the Mad Max movies. So we have Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, Mad Max The Road Warrior. Those I have slips, and then the other two are no slip cover. So you'll see that in a minute. Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. We've got Shrek 2, Event Horizon. There's my 4K of Forrest Gump. And Shawshank Redemption. Next up, pile two is A Clockwork Orange. V4 Vendetta. We've got 300. By the way, it just occurred to me, I have seen Shawshank Re I don't even know why that's never seen it. I've seen Shawshank Redemption. So that should be taken out because I've seen it. And I have seen Forrest Gump, but not the 4K. So that's probably why it's in the pile. But I've seen Shawshank Redemption. So this is why I do this. So that way I can move things around if it's in a pile that shouldn't be there. All right. Someone sent me uh, Jason Statham. Very appreciative. So we have Mechanic Resurrection on 4K. The Blues Brothers. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I found that Wayne's World slip. I went to a different Best Buy and they had Wayne's World with the slip cover and it was in perfect condition. I was so happy. So I picked it up for like $18 on sale. Audrey could not resist. I think this was, tar Blech. I can't talk today. This was Target, the buy two, get one free. And so I decided why not pick up Audrey on 4K. We've got Ad Astra. Jojo Rabbit, Jojo Rabbit, <laughs> Shrek the Third, Les Miserables, and Now You See Me. Okay, so pile number three, no slip covers. We got Pitch Perfect 3, all of the Rambo films except for the last one. So we've got First Blood, Part 2, Rambo 3. And just playing good old Rambo. Kiss the Girls. Just picked that one up too. So here's the other Mad Max movies. Mad Max. And this has a freaking... I'm sorry. But as you can see, this is what happens. Why I get upset. Why you can't shop in person. Because things get delivered to you like that. But um, I need to pick up some plain black cases from Amazon. So I could switch things out. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road. And the first Mad Max movie. So, like I said, once Furiosa, once Furiosa is closer to coming out in theaters, I'm going to binge all of those. I probably don't need to, but I just want to. All right, we got Giant. A Wrinkle in Time. River Runs Red. I think that one was sent to me. We got The Fifth Element. And Gattaca. And also glass. Then we've got split. 
Hell or High Water, Labyrinth, Ender's Game. Oh, so I can get rid of this because <laughs> I picked up the Steel Book, so this can actually leave the collection if it wants to. Now You See Me Too, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This was such a deal on Amazon or Blu-ray.com. I think it was like $8. It was such a great deal. It was marked down so much. I still have to watch it though. We got X-Men Dark Phoenix, Underworld, Underworld Blood Wars. We got Overlord, Triple Pack, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. Valerian. What is that? Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. I've seen this movie, but it's been a while. Philadelphia. All Quiet on the Western Front. I have seen, but not the 4K, so I wanted to watch it again. And finally, Despicable Me! Despicable Me on 4K. So that's it, guys. Those are all the 4Ks that I currently own in my collection. So those are all the current 4Ks that I own in my collection as of January of 2024. So comment down below and let me know how many 4Ks do you own in your collection? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.